de l'autre bras pendant l'action. Mais la chose importante, right? if I'm talking about mastery, si tu veux maîtriser le mouvement, ça prend 10 000 répétitions. It takes 10,000 reps, as they always say, peut-être plus. Un an, travail sérieux, autre répétition. There's no way around it. Si on parle d'efficacité, we just talk about being efficient and effective. Le prochain exercice, 5 minutes par jour pour deux semaines. <laughs> That's it, you won't love it. So all I need to do, tout le monde, sans personne, sans partenaire, you're just going to stay here, so I'll show you what we're doing. Everyone's just going to go like this on the ground. No, you just look. Alors, faire ton pin. Everybody do this. Come with me. Yeah. Just so we're clear on the visualization. On va commencer avec le main droite sur le poignet. Imagine, right? right hand is on the wrist. Ton main gauche, tu cherches en dessous. Alors, vous êtes perpendiculaire. Your left hand, so you're, you're basically like this on the ground. Puis, cherche ton poignet. You get your wrist. Alors, c'est ton main droite au sol. La chose importante, c'est que quand tu lèves le coude, right? tu lèves son coude par ton coude. His elbow gets lifted by your elbow. Ça veut dire que si vous êtes sur le coude droit, if I lift up onto my right elbow, il n'y a pas beaucoup de pression sur son main. Imagine he has a knife. Everybody does the half plank because it's comfortable. Et ça veut dire que tu as un couteau dans ton visage maintenant. Half plank comfortable equals knife in the eye. Just remember that. They don't teach you that in yoga. So when I'm here, give me a hook punch in the face. Yeah, it's going to get in. I have no power. Mais si tu roules sur cette côté, puis tu lèves ton coude droit aussi. Hook me in the face. Yes. Alors maintenant, le seul problème pour lui, si je veux sauter cette main vers le gauche, I want him to slide his hand underneath. Because I'm in the air, I have no control. I just have pure efficiency. Ça va déchirer. It's going to tear. So you do it once, or you do the next exercise. Do it once with the human in the next exercise. This is what we do. Course pin, boom, hips are low. Right? Cherche, perpendicular, cherche ton poignet, hit your wrist. Lève son coude par ton coude. So the cross arm is up. Lève le coude intérieur en dessous. You're all on the pinky edge. Maintenant, saute vers la gauche. Yeah? That's it. We go back down. L'autre côté, perpendicular with the right. Le droit, perpendicular. Cherche le poignet. Lève son coude par ton coude droit. Lift up your right, his right with your right. You've got it there. Maintenant, lève ton coude gauche. Tu veux sauter cette jonction, idéalement, en dessous de ton main, à ton coude. Hein? That's it. So anytime I do this work, if I can keep my hips low, si je peux garder mes hanches bas, right, I go whoosh. I lift up both elbows. That's the move. Quand, quand tu mets quelqu'un en dessous, c'est simple. Or when somebody underneath, he's actually holding you up. So when I go here, pas That's the move. All my weight is there. If I want to take those fingers, he's holding onto a knife, look. <coughs> Break them. Open them. Take the skin off. Make sense? On doit faire cette mouvement dans une façon explosive. Eh? It should be with all the love of a sneeze. <coughs> ah! Done. Si ça marche pas complètement, on va juste tourner. So tomorrow, all we're going to do is I'm going to show you. If he starts doing something with the other arm, how'd you go north south? I take either his neck, tear it, or I break his neck. That's all we're doing tomorrow. Meditation time, yeah! <laughs>